Hey besties, so we're gonna do a video today on using foil puff vinyl. Okay, so we're gonna do um, this image for the sweatsuit and we're gonna do this image for a v-neck t-shirt. So I am going to attach this first and then I want to adjust the size to 9.5 and I'm going to duplicate that and I also want to make it five inches. So this is going to be for the sweatpants, the hoodie, and for the um, v-neck t-shirt. So all of these images are mediums, but I'm doing the v-neck a little bit smaller because it is a fitted top. Let's go ahead and go to make it. And I'm gonna go ahead and mirror my images and then I am going to adjust them onto one sheet so that they cut together. Continue. And in terms of cutting, you're just gonna use everyday iron-on. There's no real difference in thickness between the puff vinyl and um, HTV regular heat transfer vinyl. Okay, so you're gonna cut on the shiny side. The other side looks like a matte shine. So this weeds really easily, however, just make sure when you're pulling it off that you're not pulling off letters. So I had to recut my S because of that, so just keep that in mind. So I'm just doing a crease down the center. Since this is a V-neck, it makes it a little bit easier to center your transfer when placing it on your garment. I'm going to press at 290 for eight seconds, and then I am going to peel back my carrier sheet and press again. So a few tips, even though this may look like it's a little difficult and it needs to be repressed, don't repress it, keep pulling it up, and also don't use those craft rollers that we typically use because that will take off the foiling off of your uh, transfer so don't do that I learned the hard way I made that mistake on the pants and I ended up having to redo them but I am putting a clip in this video of using that so you guys can see So yeah, that's why you don't wanna do that. Okay, so just like anything with crafting, there's trial and error. I hopefully have gotten through most of the trial and error, so I do intend on keeping this as part of something that I'm gonna to offer to my customers. However, please include care instructions if you do so to let them know not to wash on high heat and also to hang dry. But like I said, outside of that, I love it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video.